been and will it be? No, it won't have the semifinals. Oh, really? No, it's the state tournament's going to be the final. Oh, really? Okay, uh -huh. so we'll play, okay, not just the regional. Mm -hmm. We'll play one more besides what would yes. normally be our regional. Yes. I'll be darned, I didn't realize yep. that. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's a, wow. it's a weird deal, but they are just, you know, they are not letting anybody gather. I tell you, the only ones right now who can gather anywhere much are our cross-country teams, and I, it's hard on them, you know, because, and that, and that will be, that will be a two-day uh, state meet for cross-country, too. Huh. Wow. So it, you know, they're going to try to disperse the crowds just a little bit if they if they possibly can. So it's just a, it's a different year, and boy, UIL's been the working overtime. I know, just yeah. trying to figure out. Well, they'd have to. I mean, it just, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just, and it's all so fluid, whatever, mm -hmm. wherever, and whatever it may be, uh, whether it's college or the pros or yeah. high school or whatever it may be, trying to get, uh, trying to get it where everybody can. Uh, play and, and be as safe, I guess, as you possibly yeah. can while doing well, all of that. I'm just awfully glad that we're still playing. Yeah. There was a big worry, sure. you know, at one point that. What know. about, uh, I was going to, oh, the, the the single state tournament, it's still, the game is still in Garland like yes. last year? Yes, okay. yes, okay. yes. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, the white faces, uh, obviously, we're all a long way away from that, but that's kind of the schedule and the way things go. White face footballers, open district play Friday night. Uh, We'll play uh, Dumas at home. Then we come up here and play right, right across the street from this gym on uh, Harvester's Field. That's our second district game. And then we're back home for the third district match, and that uh, that is against Canyon. And, those and two, it's the last district match. And it is the last. Up, it's it? the third and the last. And those three teams, between them, they've already lost a game. So uh, <laughs> oh. they're playing good football. Last night... Uh, only one in action in our district last night was uh, Dumas, and they manhandled Plainview 42 to eight. Mm. So uh, it, it'll be uh, it'll be tough for the white faces, but we're getting ready and we'll be ready. As the, if you can hear the song in the background playing, uh, I won't sing it, but uh, we'll be ready. We'll be ready. Sure hey, you will. sang the song the other day. I, I did. Heard you. Yeah, that was good. But I, I had a lot of was. requests. People I bet want you did. people wanting CDs and all that sort of thing. Yeah. And I'll try to try to I get heard, those out. I heard they put their sound on mute on the TV. Is what I heard <laughs> everybody saying. I don't know, but uh, it's, I don't know. <laughs> the only thing I'd say for sure, you know, it didn't measure up to Kubi, but I think it's every bit as good as Compton. I really do. That's just. <laughs> That's just me now. but uh, And I hope you get to sing it some more. I do, too. I certainly do, too. Here are the two teams that finished their warm-ups. Uh, we'll have the introductions and all that sort of thing and then get to the play in this best three out of five. Again, Pamper with good size. Uh, they've got some good hitters. At home, uh, we were real, real lackadaisical early on, and Pamper was very aggressive, and they served aggressively. And so... Uh, and here today we've got, uh, because of the officiating, uh, Coach Kitten talked about this, because of COVID, we don't have enough officials. So we'll have two Pampa Harvesters, two locals calling the lines, uh, both wearing Pampa Harvester sweatshirts, which hey. I really think you shouldn't do if you're going to call, but that's just me. Well, I would agree. It always it, it always was rather amusing when we see parents calling lines with, yeah. <laughs> with uh, their go number 14 shirt yeah. on, you know, for the team they're calling lines for. But we're going to take a break here for a minute, 30 seconds. We'll be back in Pampa with the players and the start of play in a minute and a half. I'd like for you to meet Zoe McCracken. Zoe,
I mean, we're in the rafters, which is fine. Mm -hmm. It's a good view. We had to look down for the flag. We did. We did. It's really pretty, pretty cool in this old field house. And we got uh, a message from Coach Delosier, and this is really, I mean, this is good because you know he's feeling well, and also because <laughs> of his his willingness to volunteer. He's going to call the lines by watching the video back at home, and he'll he'll make those calls. So if you've got any questions about the line calls or anything, just. Uh, Contact Coach Delosier. I'll have his home number for you here. The white faces uh, have been introduced, and now the harvesters are. The harvesters in the white with the green and gold trim. They've got a pretty sparse crowd here uh, on their side of the floor. Good crowd of Hereford folks. Pampa's student body is down on the Hereford side of the floor, but across, across not, on, not on the Hereford side as far as where the team's seated, but where the Hereford fans are seated here. This old gym's got the two decks, you know, like uh, you walk in and have to walk up to the levels. And one level is like our pull-out bleachers at home, and then the second level on up, and that's where we are, even up at the very tip top of that. The gym, if you haven't ever been here, it's the old parquet floor with the state of Texas and the, the uh, big letter, gold letter P in the middle. And the Harvesters uh, have played here, like I said, for a long, long time with some great success in basketball, really have. I want to congratulate last night, you know, Norma, but I, I want to. The Borger Bulldogs upset uh, Estacado last night, 23-20. And Chad Clements, uh, oldest son of both these boys, actually. But Alex is a senior uh, defensive end, wears number 55. I don't know why he wears 55 or something about Brett and Chad or something of that sort, but they upset Estacada last night in a great win. So congratulations to Borger on the victory. And, of course, it's a district game, so now they're suddenly right there where they want to be. All right, we are ready to go here in uh, Pampa. The officials up on the, the net and on the floor. The white faces gathered here on the, right in front of us again this year with all the COVID and all that sort of stuff. One of the one of the changes is you don't change into the floor. Mm -hmm. I don't really think that's a terrible deal all the time, either. Coach. Uh, I don't either. And, and uh, you know, it, it can kind of help you also figure out your gym, you know, on where you want to put your student body. Yeah. Which, if it's going to be that way, you know, you want to put your student body where your kids on the same side as your kids. And um, so it, it isn't bad. And everybody's kind of gotten used to it the first time i think everybody just sort of waved at each other everybody just giggled uh -huh. but uh, now it's like yeah <laughs> yeah that's kind of what we do <laughs> yeah well here we go uh white faces let's see it's tatum and cameron rainy micah bonnie and miranda miranda the libero for the white faces first set herford and pampa there's the whistle here we go good serve deep Pampa has trouble, can't get to it. It's an ace, and the White Faces lead it one nothing. Good start. Yeah, that was. I'm I'm real glad she played it. It was going to be a close ball, yeah. but it, it was a tough one to let go. Miranda ready again, one nothing. Herford, deep, too deep, and it's one all. So one one after service ace, and then a service error, and the Harvesters now with Stevens back to serve. And she's an excellent jump server, really throws it tall. White faces pass it nicely. Over it goes to Stowe, down. Nope, dug up by Peppa. Nice play by the Harvesters. At the net, they throw it over. And over it goes on the far side now to Blair. They dive for it, get to it, and get it over. Great save again, Peppa. Far side, Blair. Big swing, they'll not be returning Cameron Blair's lick that time. It's 2-1, Herford. Good defense on the Pampa side of the ball. Um, ball came back to us two or three times and a nice free ball put away. 2-1 Herford now as Rainey ready to serve in the opening set. Senior serves near side. Pampa tight on the net. Big swing, dug up. Herford, Pampa in the net, and that was uh, Mahika. She's a good, good jump. She's a good swinger up on the net. 3-1 Herford. Rainey serves again. Good service, it's an ace. And the bottom just drops out of that thing. I mentioned to you, 4-1 Herford. Well, we'll talk about this after Rainey serves again. 4-1 in the opening set here in Pampa. Mm -hmm. Short serve. They dive for it. Herford gets it up and down. Nice play by the Whitefaces' uh, Lacey Davis. 
And Saw an opening. She just tipped that overset right onto the floor. 5-1, deep service. Again, Harvesters have a little trouble with it. Get it across, played up by Stowe. Back in the near side it goes. Davis, big swing. They dig it up on the back line. Far side now, Harvesters throw it over. Played up by the white faces. Hustle to it. Over it goes to Blair. Blair through the block. And it's 6 1 Hereford. Blair's got two kills. Good reach by Cameron Blair. Uh, she, when she is on like that yeah. and really making tall contact, it is hard for a blocker to block her. A short oh, serve again. It gets over. They can't play it. It's an ace. Second ace for Randy. That one caught the top of the cord. 7 1 Hereford. Timeout, Pampa. We're back in 30 seconds.
is uh, 14 for Hereford. And we've been pretty sharp, Kate. We have, absolutely. Let's just keep this thing rolling and, and uh, don't get it. It's easy to get lackadaisical yep. when, you get, when you get a pretty big, big spread between you and the opponent. Micah jump serves again. Harvester's near side, blocked by the White Faces. Tampa plays it right back over. In the middle, that's Watley, <laughs> right in the face, Watley. Whoa. I think, uh, I think something's gotten Watley's attention, Coach. I'm not sure quite what. That was in someone's face. Uh, yep, then she just turns back around, says, set me again. 15-4, Herford. Pampa, good play to get that thing off we the got net. It. We can't get to it. Nice play by the uh, setter for the Harvesters there. She, she got a really bad pass, somehow got it up, and Harvesters get the point. 15-5, Harvesters serve. Here in set number one, Hawthorne serves. It's out. 16 five. That's, a, that's pretty cool. I mean, we're standing there. We just kind of bend backward, let yeah. it sail over us uh, real close. <laughs> yeah, Miranda just leaned yeah. her chin back just a little she bit did. and let it sail. White faces serve. Good service there by Vallejo near side. Harvester's blocked by the white faces, oh, but oh, out. Oh. Just out. Watley and uh, Aven up for the block here on the near side. Just missed the line wide. 16 to 6, Herford. Brian Hedrick getting some photos. Again, the Pena's getting all the video right here in Pampa this afternoon. Good service, good pass. Well, not a good pass. White faces just have to free ball it over. Pampa's got a chance to score. Near side, Stevens, great dig by Bonnie. Wow, what a play. White faces again, they'll have to free ball it over. Pampa's got a chance again. They set Stevens. We block her again. The white faces collide playing it, but get it back over to Blair, who plays it back in. Harvesters, quick set in the middle, tip it. Played up by Miranda. Pass it over to Blair. This is going to be a big swing. There you and that's go. the point. Blair's third kill. Sometimes you just got to hang in there until you can get a pass that that goes to target and your your hitters transition off the net and everybody can approach. We did. Served by Miranda. Harvesters. Far side. Out. White faces lead it 18 to 6. Whiteface is hitting on all cylinders here in this opening set, trying to go to 8-0 and in the district with uh, two remaining. Borger Tuesday night at home next Saturday. The Whitefaces will play against uh, Perryton in the home finale. It's gone in a hurry. Good service. In the middle, blocked, but blocked off the side of the Whiteface block and uh, falls on Herford's side. Point for Pampa, 18-7 Herford. Harvester serving here in the first set. White faces uh, drop the set to Pampa at home, 26-24. Good service, great pass. Near side, they block us, we play it up. We just didn't play that very well at all, but we're still alive. Pampa near side tipped, played up by Micah. Bumped back, off the net, it's Rainey. Rainey through the block. Harvesters get to oh, it, oh, oh they oh. lift it, yeah, yeah. 19-7, Herford. Rainey with a kill. White faces now with a 12-point advantage here in the opening set. Rainey Aben at the service line. A short serve, and they get to it and can't get it over. Great job, Rainey. <laughs> From up here, boy, that thing really, I mean, it's hard <laughs> to get the top of the net and all that little floater. This time, deep middle. Oh, they, another good serve. Harvester get it to Mojica. Great dig by Blair, blocked by Pampa, and hit in the net. White face point. Great play by Blair over there on that uh, far side. I love, when, I love when kids who are known to be great hitters get to play some good defense yeah. too. She's a good athlete. Mm -hmm. Pampa overpasses, up high is Blair, and she puts it in the back <laughs> of the floor. Four for Blair. White faces lead it 22 to seven. Well, just keep on keeping on, girls. Rainey ready to serve once again. White faces pouring it on here in the opening set. Rainey serves, harvesters. He could get up high and straight down. We didn't get a block on her that time. That's her third kill. 22-8, it was an emphatic one. It was a nice shot. It was. She's, she's a good jumper. She's a senior. I know I heard some of their... Ages when they played in Hereford. We don't have them on the program. A good 
pass there in the middle. That's Stowe. They dig Stowe up, and Stevens hits it out. White faces lead it 23 to 8. In for the White faces comes Joan. She will serve here. White faces two points away from going up one set to nil. Emma serves too deep. Her third service error. So Pampa's got nine points. And three of the nine have been uh, unforced errors on our serve. Harvester's back now to serve. It's uh, Fawcett. Fawcett serves. Miranda. Rainey dumps, and they don't get to the dump. Nobody home in the middle. 24-9, and it'll be Tatum serving for the first set. As Watley comes back in. Tatum's just going to go on over there and get the ball. She is. I mean, Pampa's doing all they can each time to Slow stall it. all they can. Whiteface is up 24-9. And that's our fourth service error there as Tatum hits it right in the middle of the net. 24-10, Herford leads. Harvester serve in the opening set. It's Burroughs at the service line. Good. Dig, Watley, Watley puts <laughs> it down, and that's all she wrote. 25-10, the White Bases win the first set. We'll break for a minute 30, be back in Pampa. Faces won the opening set 25 10 and uh, played pretty efficiently. Blair with uh, four kills, three for Watley, two for Rainey. Stowe with a kill in the block. Davis with a kill. Even with three aces, two for Micah and one for Miranda. So, uh, again, pretty good balance, pretty good mm -hmm. play. Absolutely. And no lady white faces are glad to get that first set uh, done and, and done in fine fashion, but uh, we just can't let up here. Sure. We're just going to have to keep the the pedal down. Well, we'll just try to do that. Let's see what happens as the white face is back out on the floor. Harvester's about to come back out. We've still got there's a three minute break between sets, but uh, we're only going to take about what a minute, and two minutes and 15 seconds of that. And then the white faces will receive serve to begin this uh, second set. It's uh, Palacios and Vallejo and Blair, and Watley, Acosta, and uh, Rainey. That's the six on the floor for the White Faces. Harvester serve first. Back to serve for Pampa will be uh, sick. And the Harvester's uh, ready to go. We're waiting on the officials. There's the buzzer. And here we go, set number two. Best three out of five. District match number eight for the White Faces. Jump serve. Good pass, Bonnie. Tipped over and down by Avon. Wow. That's that little left-handed move that has become uh, patented. Front row setter, and, uh, you know, that pass was just a little bit tight, and Rainey knows exactly what to do with those. one nothing Herford now as Miranda ready to serve. Saw Miranda's mom for the match. She's all excited as, as usual. <laughs> Harvesters play it back across. Rainey sets Stowe. Stowe, big swing. Stowe, big kill. 
There's that hit back to the deep right corner. When your setters are camping out back there playing defense, they do not like to, like to have to make that pass, make that first touch. Good serve again by Miranda. Far side, perfect gets a block on Stevens. Tipped again by Avon. Harvesters, great, great hit, great try by Micah. She got a fist under it, but the Harvesters get the point two to one. I mean, Papa can play some. They've mm -hmm. got, they can play yes, good they defense. Can. They've got some good hitters. They trail two to one, down a set. As the big jump serve comes across. Nice pass by Vallejo over to Stowe. They get a block on Stowe. Play it back near side. They roll it over, play it up. Set Stowe in the middle, and Harvesters dig it again. Near side, big swing, dug up by Bonnie. Tipped over by the white faces, tipped out. Perfect point as they were in the net. 3-1 White Faces. White Faces up 3-1 in the second set, up a set. Rainey the, ser the server. Harvesters near side, off the net, down the line, we're not home. That's uh, four kills for Mejica, and it is 3-2 Herford. She's a middle blocker again. Lots of folks love to set their middle blockers uh, out of service receive on the outside. She knows uh, she knows how to put it down the line. She does. Booster camp serves. Miranda, Rainey, Stowe. Stowe. Whoop. She called it in and then called it out. Huh. I'll be darned. Three off. That is one of the uh, local hmm. Pampa sweatshirt wearing line judges. 3-3. Three, three. Stowe. <laughs> Who wants this one? No, thank you. Stowe's third kill is vicious. 4-3 Irvin. <laughs> mm. She had enough. <laughs> yeah, she did. Dig this, huh? Uh-huh, exactly. Emma serves 4-3 Herford in the second set. Good service, Pampa. Back to Stevens. Great, great dig by Miranda. Stowe. They block Stowe, and it's four all. That was Mahika with the block. So four four. The Harvesters certainly playing better early here in the second set. And as Coach said, I mean, you just you can't relax. That's kind of where you are in this sport. Fawcett to serve four four. Set number two. Her service comes to Miranda. Eight white faces. Oh, nice play on the near side. That was Stowe. Took a little something off of it. Her fourth kill. Wilburn out there right now for the White Faces, a sophomore. Stowe to serve. Wilburn, Vallejo, and Watley up on the net. Stowe serving. Jones and Rainey. Good serve by Stowe. They're far side. Herford gets a block, plays it up, passes it back. Bonnie rolls it over. Harvesters near side. Big swing and out. 6 4 Herford. Pampa's really good at service uh, service receive. They really are. They make a good opening pack. Good serve by Stowe. Just as I say that, she serves an ace. I thought that Did you might. say that again? I will. I think, okay. I, I think I'll try that again. <laughs> Stowe with an ace. 7-4 Herford. Second set. Tatum. Rotation. Rotation on Pampa. 8-4 Herford. I think the setter may have left a little too early. 8-4 Herford, Tatum ready again. Far side, Peppa, can't play it, it's another ace. And it's 9-4 Herford, and suddenly a 4-4 match is a five-point Herford lead. Tatum ready again, they kind of creep in now, let's see what she does, they're a little shallow on the back line. Better pass, but not a great one. Far side, bumped oh. over, and we fail to move. I don't know what we did there. Well. Nobody wanted to assume the responsibility for it. We needed to run. <laughs> okay. That's pretty Spoken sick. like a coach. 9-5. <laughs> you're, you're right. 9-5, <laughs> Herford up. Pampa serve. Jones, good pass. Watley. Oh. Watley with another kill. Her fourth. She'd Tell you been, what. Excuse me. Go. Well, she'd been going to the right side. This time she turned a sharp over to the left side of Pampa's court, and uh, there was no digging that. 10-5. What I was going to say, she's the last couple of three matches, she's been not much dinking, a lot more swinging. 
Here's a good serve by Micah. Harvesters. Wide, and it is 11-5, Herford. Harvesters tried to go cross court that time from the near side. My faces just let it sail. And Micah's ready again. We have to, after the ball is touched by others, they have to clean it, so we switch volleyballs. Micah with a short serve. Pampa, Block. far side. Blocked by the white faces. Harvesters can't get to it. Great Good block. block. Watley? Uh, I'm sorry. I, yep, uh, Watley and Bonnie, I think. Watley and Bonnie. Okay, timeout, Pampa. 12 5, Herbert, second set, back in 30 seconds. Well, I guess we're not. Second set, White Faces won the opener 25 10 here against the Harvesters. And uh, White Faces with a little spurt here. We were tied at four, so the White Faces have outscored them 8 to 1 since then. Yep. And they just need to keep the pressure on. I mean, we, we need to do that for us. Yeah. You know, more than more than anything and, and get get Pampa a little bit more frustrated because they, they've got some kids that will swing at the ball. Put up blocks like uh, Bonnie and, and Nikaila did just a while ago. Uh, that'll slow your hitters down. Yep. Sure enough. Here's Micah ready to serve. 12-5 Herford, set number two. The junior goes far corner. Harvesters, dump it, replay it. Here we go, Watley. And Watley gets yet another kill. Five for Watley, and the White Faces lead it 13 to five. The college just seems to be taking the ball out of the air earlier now. Good deep serve this time by Micah. Far side, block. Oh, play it, Bonnie. Great play by the White Faces to get it across after the block by Bonnie. You got back to Bonnie. She has to tip it left-handed. Papa gets to it. They should have a chance here. Well. They get blocked right at the net. The White Faces play it back over. Harvester's far side. Dug on the back side by Jones. Tipped over by the White Faces. Blocked by Papa. Point Pampa. Pampa. 13-6 Herford. White Faces up by seven. That was a battle that time all the way. Pampa winning the point. Hawthorne serves for the Lady Harvesters. Hawthorne, Emma. Watley, this time it's long. Didn't quite, you can tell, kind of got a little flat-handed in 13-7. Mm -hmm. White faces by six. Harvester serving. Hawthorne again. Good pass by Emma. Watley, give her another chance. She tips it this time, though, and I play it. Right back over it comes. White faces another chance over to Bonnie. Big swing. They can play this one. Number three for Vallejo. And the White Faces lead it. 14 to 7. Had a single block out there that time Bonnie did and she just went straight down the line. Wasn't anybody going to play that back. Bonnie to serve, 14 to 7, Herbert. Harvesters can't play it, it's an ace. Again, her serve, it does appear to be, but it's obviously hard to play. 15 7. Ready again and again, the Harvesters better pass in the middle. Out. Oh no. Oh, oh no. 15-8. Oh, oh, That's dear. two points in this match that uh, the line judge has been responsible for. That were that was out by a that's foot. Not, that's not the side Coach Delosier's on. No, <laughs> come on, Coach. 15-8, <laughs> Herford. Harvesters jump serve out. 16-8. I don't know if that's anyway. It's a white face point. 16-8. Here's Miranda ready to go. Good service. Far side, Herford got a block but couldn't play it. Got the block up, it went off Herford and the point Pampa, 16 to nine, Harvesters. Seven point advantage, or 16 to nine, Herford. Seven point advantage for the White Faces over the Harvesters. Big jump serve, it's out, and it's 17 to nine. Man, Miranda just, she's got a hawk I mean, eye does. on that baseline, <laughs> she doesn't does. she? That was a big top spin jump serve, and she just watched it sail about a foot long. Served by Rainey. Harvesters, far side. Herford gets a block on it. Rainey digs it up. Miranda sets it. Off the net. Big swing by Wilburn. They dig it up. Play it in the middle. Tip it over. White faces play it. Out. Out off Herford, 17 to 10. Second set here. White faces up a set in Pampa. Serving for the Harvesters is Oosterkamp. Camp serves to Miranda. 
to Rainey, to Stowe. Stowe tips it, and it's 18-10. to 10. You're probably relieved even when we get the point. If Tatum doesn't hit it right in your face, you probably, okay, tip it over, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Emma to serve, Herford by eight. Deep corner, oh, what a Good serve. Spot. Great serve. Service ace by Jones. One, two, three, six, ten aces for the White Faces. Timeout, Pampa. Herford by nine, back in 30 seconds. Harvester's using their final timeout in this set. Get him again, Emma. Emma, you can lots of lots of speed on her serve. She goes deep. They play at the back line. Bump it up near side. Cross court. There's Miranda. They're in the middle. Nope. Near side. Down the line and out. Wilburn missed, tried to go down the line here. And it's 19-11. Line judge got one right. <laughs> uh, big day. White faces by eight as the harvester serve. Emma, Rainey, Bonnie, white face point. Bonnie's uh, fourth kill. Back to service, Stowe, 20 to 11, Herford. White faces. Uh, go under that net and get that ball again. Go get it. Now, Pampa's not going to get the volleyball back to us. Here we go, Tatum serving, 20 to 11. Good service, Harvester's far side, out, White faces lead at 21-11. That was a pretty darn good pass by Pampa on a really tough serve from Tatum. It was. Uh-oh, we have to get a new ball. Uh-oh, no, no new ball this time. It's okay, we're gonna play on. 21-11, Tatum serves again. Junior, good, service tight on the net, tipped over, and. Oh, white faces don't get to it here. <laughs> Mahika with the point. I don't know what again. Well, we just released from our defensive positions much too early. 21 12, Herford by nine. Harvester serving. Burrows the server. Set number two. Burrows serves. Emma. There is Watley with the little tip. And she gets her sixth kill. Six for her, five for Stowe, four for Blair, four for Bonnie, three for Rainey. That's pretty good. Herford up 22-12. Micah serving. That short serve again. They have to dive to get to it. Now they'll just hit it in the net. Point for the white faces. Don't give too much effort. 23-12. White faces by 11. Micah ready. Good service again. Harvester's better pass. Far side, Hawthorne. We block it. Solo block. Solo Bonnie. block. Bonnie gets her second, and the White Faces lead it 24 to 12. <laughs> wow. She said, I don't need any middle blocker to come help me. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Micah serves. Good service. Harvester's far side. We get a little block. We can't get to it. 24 to 13. Got a, got a little roll off the top. I mean, we just kind of were in molasses again and froze a little bit. 24-13. Herford by 11. And it'll be Hawthorne to serve for the Harvesters. Her service is a good one, but a nice pass by Miranda. Watley, and that's it. <laughs> Watley's seventh. Oof. It's pretty vicious. White bases win it 25-13. Go up to love. We're back in a minute 30. Between sets, Herford has won by scores of 10 and 13.
Papa. It is uh, two nothing Hereford after the first two sets. Ten and thirteen the scores. My face is ready to go here in the third set, Coach, and uh, playing some pretty good volleyball. Yeah, it, the ladies are, and and uh, you got to wonder if, how Pampa's going to want to come out in this one. Do you want to get it done, get it over with, and get out of here, or, or are they going to just come back I'm, in? And I'm fine, fine with that. <laughs> by the way, if that's if that's a choice. Yeah. It's, it's funny, I, I like to read body language as they come off the court, and Pampa's coming off the, oh, excuse me, off the bench, and they're coming out pretty slow. Not, yep. not much conversation between any of them. Pampa has, I don't know what the significance is, but one player on the bench wears mm -hmm. a little red, kind of looks like Woody from uh, Toy Story, mm -hmm. cow curl hat, cowboy hat, whatever. I don't know. Is that kind of like the... What is it? Is it when know. you get a, you know, yeah, the you Miami chain, thing, the, the chain? chain yeah, is that yeah. for, is that defense? Uh, maybe. Inter yeah, was it yeah, interceptions yeah, or yeah, something? Yeah, that, oh, yeah, that is for that, yeah. All right, here we go. Miranda to serve. White faces up to love. Third set. Good service. Pampa, not a good pass. Off the net. Harvester's into the net. one nothing Irvin. So Miranda hustles back. I mean, never a dull moment with Miranda. She's ready to go. Good service. Pampa. Far side, cross court, big, big swing there, and one all. 1-1 one, one in the third set, Harvester serving. White faces up to Love. Into the net, 2-1 Herford. We'll take them how we can get them. Here's Rainey to serve. In comes Davis for the White faces. And Rainey serves. Little floater short. I can't play it again. That is Rainey's fourth ace of the day. I'd be so frustrated uh, with <laughs> us if I were Pampa. I would too. Just can't ever figure out where the serve's going. 3-1 Herford. Pampa near side. Mahika blocked by the white faces. Pampa dumps it over. Herford pulls it right back. Harvester set it far side. Roll it to the corner, and again, we don't get to the far line, 3-2. But some of that, uh, in, in fairness to us, I mean, it's in such slow motion that we just kind of join in. 3-2, Harvesters, mm -hmm. trail and serve. I know Coach Kitten. <laughs> That's not her perception of that. <laughs> Harvesters use a short serve into the net that we'll take, and it's 4-2, Herford. Emma in, white faces leading, third set. Trying to go to eight and zero. Oh. Trying to win, I think, our 16th in a row. We've lost one. Good serve by Emma. There's Stevens into the net. Five two Herford. Jones ready once again. White faces up by three in the third set. Emma from the far side serves deep middle. Harvesters, good pass. Mahika, big swing, and we get a little block, but not much. She gets the kill. That's seven for her. 5-3, Herford. She said she did not hurt us this badly nearly at Herford. No, no, no. So 5-3, Herford in the third set. Harvester serve. Little floater. Emma, not a good pass this time. And off the net, Bonnie goes up, and Bonnie gets the kill anyway. He, who needs a good pass? Good tall reach by Bonnie. She was off the net, and she just rolled it. Lots of top spin, center court. 6-3, Herford, and it's Tatum to serve. In the third set, the white faces for the win today. Secure first place in the league. There's the serve. Pampa on your side. And it is 7-3, Herford. Ready once again is Tatum. She's had a couple of aces today, along with five kills and a block. Goes deep. Harvester's near side, blocked by the oh. white faces. That was Watley. That was Watley closing out over on the right side, and uh, she was perfectly aligned. 8-3, Herford. Tatum ready again. Pampa, far side, a little slide play, out. And the White Faces lead it 9-3. to th uh, nine to three. That wasn't out by much. They That's wasn't. a reminder. We best be at our defensive <laughs> positions. White Face tennis team lost to Pampa today, 6-13. Thank you, Sherry. So we are second in the district. Playoffs looming soon. Here's another good serve by Stowe. Pampa tips it over. Emma. There's Watley, and Watley. Touch. 
Yep. Yep. White face point. 10-3 Hereford. White faces lead it 10 to 3. Is, were they in the net? Is that No, they touched it. Okay, they touched it. On the way out. Okay. Yep. White faces lead it 10-3. The line judge didn't Ooh. see that, so I didn't know. That's not Coach Deloser's side. <laughs> Papa hits it out again, 11 3 Herford. And timeout Harvesters. White faces up 11 3 in the third set. We're back in 30 seconds. Well, I think you've answered your question about how they were going to come out. <laughs> Eleven three Hereford in the uh, third set. Pampa using the timeout there. Coach Kitten wondered uh, how much intensity the Harvesters would come out in this third set. Uh, the questions being answered, I believe. Here we go. Tatum ready to serve. Eleven three Hereford. Good service, Pampa. Not a good pass. Big reach and out. Point for the White Faces. It's hard to tell from this angle yeah. if we touched or not. Kind of looked like we did. We were pretty but close. 12-3 mm. Hereford. Coach Delosier said we didn't. Okay. okay. Good serve. <laughs> Pampa dumps it. We don't. Yeah, we do. Nope, we don't. Okay. Fishwell didn't say it hit the floor initially, but then ultimately I think it did. 12-4, and again, we were a little, little slow in getting there. Hereford by eight. Burroughs to serve. We're high atop the gym here in Pampa on this Saturday afternoon. A little floater played by Bonnie to Watley. Watley with her ninth kill. Got to keep working on that that uh, relationship between Nikola and and uh, and her setter Rainey. You know, yeah. it's it's kind of a little dance that you learn after you play quite a bit together, and they're getting better and better at it. Micah serves, near side, off the top of the net. Played. White faces play on, but oh. hit the floor on Herbert's side. 13-5. Now yeah, that was, the net looked like it was almost disconnected there. It was so loose. Got a note from Tessa who's listening today. Glad to have you along, Tessa. I know that she knows what we should be doing, but she's nice enough not to tell me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Here we go, Pampa serves. Nice pass by Miranda. Watley up, Watley down. Watley's having a day. <laughs> Ten kills for her. Back in comes Cameron. Back to serve goes Bonnie. It is 14-5 Herford in the third set. Good service. Pampa near side. And again. We're out of position. We are. We're just I mean, out we're, of position. We are. We're yeah. just trying to guess and kind of hang out and react once they swing, and uh, we're just not getting in our defensive positions. You're suggesting that's not a good idea. It's not <laughs> a great idea if you want to win. 14-6, <laughs> Herford Pampa serves here. A little floater, good pass, Micah. Tipped over by Rainey, but this time they get to the tip. Now Pampa bumps it back. We got a chance right here. Let's see who. It's Watley on the slide play, but we didn't really sink there. Just got it across. Pampa gets it back. Nice diving play by Miranda. Now Watley, how about that? Let's just knock it down. Number 11 for Watley. Wow. 15-6. Herford. I Miranda think with Miss Tatum and uh, Miss Nikola, I think we're getting our middle established pretty well. <laughs> I we have. Oh, good <laughs> serve by Miranda. Pampa, we block it. Can't play it up. Stowe got a block on it, but it kind of went off the left side of her arm, and we couldn't get to it from the back. 15-7, Herford. Stevens to serve now for the Harvesters. Herford. Good serve. Good pass. There's Cameron Wide on the far side. She went cross court. First time we've set Cameron in a while, and she just missed Wide. She's got four kills in the match. 15-8 Herford. Harvesters serving again. Into the net. 16-8. Whiteface is by eight. 
and it's Rainey serving. The senior serves to the near corner, and it's right in nice. the corner. Wow. Right. Wow, wow. Five aces for her today. Wow, white faces have eight. If your coach were to tell you serve to the corner, you couldn't do it any better than that <laughs> no, one. No, 17-8 Herford. This time it's a little short serve, which they play tight on the net. And a great, oh, what a play by Vejo. Over to Blair, Blair cross, oh, my pushed back. Herford's got a chance right here. Off the net, though, we can't really get a good swing on it across. Pampa near side. We got a block on it, play it up and across. Great save by the white faces. Harvesters at the net. Big swing. Herford plays it up, saves it. Great play by the white faces. Back it comes, saved up by Miranda at the net. A battle spark point for Pampa. 17 to 9. Wow. A lot, of, a lot of bodies flying all over the place. But the harvesters get the point. That was like doubles in tennis I watched this morning. <laughs> Just volleys back and yeah. forth so fast. Don't get hurt. 17-9. White faces by eight. Harvester serving in the third set. White faces. Bonnie tight this time. Oh, great save by the white faces. Aven bumped over by Stowe. Far side harvesters. We get a block played up by Bonnie. Here we go. Stowe in the middle. They'll not be playing there that one. <laughs> Number six for Stowe, straight down, hit about the 10-foot line on the other side, 18-9 Herbert. Yep, good set that time. Ball went up at the top of Stowe's reach for her, and she just put it straight down. Here we go, Emma serves. Harvester set it in the middle and tip it over. Herford plays it right back. Harvester again tip it, and again, we've got the stand arounds, 18-10. White face is up by eight, but uh, we really honestly, I mean, we're going to win this thing, but we've had too many of those today. we just got to be a little sharper than that. Here's Miranda. Here is Stowe, and there is the floor, seven for Stowe. My goodness, on the near side, she went down the line, and it was every man or woman in this case for themselves. 19-10, Herford Tatum serves. Third set. Good service, Pampa, Mahika. Again, we have to hustle to get to it. Over to Bonnie, off the net. She rolls it to the deep middle. They play it in the middle. Tip it, played up. Nope, can't get it back. Eight kills for Mahika. 19-11, Herford. Pampa serving in the third set. Burrows the server for the Lady Harvesters. Burrow serves a little short set. Bonnie back over to Watley. Watley gets it on the floor. Couldn't get much on it, but she got enough of where they weren't. 2011 Herford. Micah to serve. White faces will be 8 0. Will have won 16 in a row. <laughs> She's close. She is. Block. There you Stevens go. Nice block by Watley, and Watley is stomping the floor. That was extra special. Three for Watley. 21-11, Herford. You want some of this? Hit it here again. Here's Micah. Short serve. Far side. Big reach. We dig it up. Play it to Watley. Watley tips it. They get to it. Bump it back across. Played to the far side. Watley on the slide play. Gets it across. They keep it alive. Back in the middle, tipped over by Pampa, played up by Micah. Far side now, Bonnie. Bonnie, big swing. There'll be no returning this one. The white face is Bonnie Bay, who gets her sixth. And uh, <laughs> white face is leading 22 11. Yeah, Lady White Faces, that was a good run of some nice defense. We'll visit with some of the white face players here in a minute. Here's. White faces now over to Bayho on the far side, and she hits it long. White faces wanted to tip, but didn't get it. That was just a little bit long. Deep corners where she was trying to go, and uh, there would have been nobody home if she'd been a foot shorter. <laughs> White faces uh, receive serve, 22 to 12. There's Watley. They dig Watley this time. Stevens, we dig, Steve, what a play by Miranda. Stevens again, dug up by Bonnie. 
Set to Watley. Watley threw the block in the face of Stevens. 23 to 12. 13 kills for Watley. White faces two points away from the set and the match. Bonnie serves. Harvesters dump it. Here we go. Tipped over by the white faces. That's Aiden. Her fourth. The white faces need a point. 24 12. We won by scores of 10 and 13. And right now it's 12 for the Harvesters. Good service. Bad pass. Dump. Nope. Into the net. Service ace. Bonnie with the ace. White faces win it. 25 to 12. And the white faces go quickly into the night. 10, 13, and 12 in about 45 minutes time, Coach. That is uh, what you want to do when you're heading to somebody else's house, I tell you. And uh, Lady Whiteface, I do. I think it frustrated us just a little bit to lose a set to them at yeah. home. And uh, I think uh, it looked like we didn't want something like that to happen again. Well, it sure didn't. And the Whitefaces, uh, Watley with a great day. 13 kills and three blocks for her. Wow. Stowe with seven kills. Bonnie with six kills. A couple of blocks for Bonnie. Then Ace is five for Rainey and four kills for Rainey. And we had a ten kills, as uh, ten Aces as a team. So just pretty pretty good play all in all. We'll visit with Coach McCracken and a couple of the players when we return to uh, the Harvester Gym here in 30 seconds. And three, 10, 13, and 12. And again, a long trek up here for Coach uh, McCracken and uh, three of the players that we'll visit with here today. And we'll visit with Carly first. Uh, and again, uh, we lost, lost a set to them, first set to them in Herford. Then we won by scores of 10, 13, and 12 here today. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. We d you were right. We did did kind of have our attention, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> Whiteface is uh, now 8 and 0, Coach. And uh, that I mean, we still theoretically, I guess, could be tied by Canyon, but we're, we'd be the outright champs either way. So yes, sir. pretty good feeling. Yes, it really <laughs> is. It's it's phenomenal. I mean, these girls work so hard, and I mean, if anybody deserves it, it's them. So. Well, it's just been a great effort here throughout the district in Watley today. What a show! Uh, Thirteen kills and three blocks there for you her. Go. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, little something on the on the table there for yes, Watley, yes, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> pretty pretty special. Tatum with seven kills. Uh, Bonnie with five, four for Cameron, uh, four for Rainey. Rainey had five aces. We had ten aces, Coach. That's awesome. That's it didn't good. feel like it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in a match like this, now obviously, I mean, we're playing to win, but we're playing, we talked about this, we're playing to get better. Right, absolutely. Um, I thought our service receive was great. Um, we had a lot, three options most of the time. Yeah. Um, you know, and we, we have to have that because we do have such big hitters. You know, so having, and we've talked, you and I have talked about how, we can spread the ball out, so, yep. you know, so well, and it's it's really just because of the our defense. I mean, they're phenomenal. They really are, and today we got a little flat-footed a few times, kind of yes. got out of position. But yes. but uh, and I may have been a little harsh on, <laughs> but but I mean we're we're just human too. Right, <laughs> absolutely. And we yes. are winning decisively. Yes. So there's a couple of things. Well, now we go back on the road Tuesday night to Borger, and then uh, finish the district uh, Saturday next Saturday at home. Boy, it's yes, going in a hurry, but. What do we do this week? I mean, what what's next as far as getting prepared? I mean, we, we're just going to work on, you know, the quicker stuff. I mean, you know, yes, we do still have two uh, district games, but, you know, with keeping those in mind but also preparing for the playoffs. You know, we're yeah. going to come up against some teams that are running quicker offenses and just being able to shut those down. Our block still, I mean, I've I've said that our, our front row is going to be the difference makers, yeah. you know, whether it's the block or the kills, um, just setter, hitter, setter connection. I mean, there's still so much room to grow, you know, sure. and, and I think that having the mentality of growing, not just staying stagnant right now is, is what we have to do. We're 8-0, and uh, we've got uh, two left, and, and we're going to be the district champs. And, I mean, I know there's a lot down the road, but those things are great accomplishments. Yes, sir. Yes. Congratulations, Thank Carly. You. Great day again here today. Thank we've you. got uh, three of the white-faced players here, and I don't know in which order. I think uh, 
Miranda's going to go first. So uh, okay. you can even take it off, Miranda, oh, if you okay. want to. Okay, I was <laughs> making so sure. So do you have enough energy today, Miranda? I believe like I did, but I felt like I could have <laughs> given more. You could have given more. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, uh, I mean, just how do you see your role out there? I mean, obviously you're you're the libero. You play defense. I mean, but, but what what's Miranda's job? Well, my, one of my jobs is, I believe, is, like, to help the leaders be leaders. Like, I bring out energy, and I always, like, bring them back up when they're having a bad game or something. When you're serving, like here today, I mean, and you generally serve first when, when we're in that rotation, I mean, yeah. what's your thinking there when we're starting off? Um, I'm, what I'm thinking is I'm ready to play. Like, whoever <laughs> we're playing, I'm ready. There's not much time wasted between points when you're serving. I mean, you, you get it back and serve again. Uh, is there a reason for that? Yes, I like to bring up our momentum because our momentum is very quick. And the faster that we get our momentum going, the quicker we move. And it just brings up all of our energy and it just brings more and more like speed. Here you are a junior now and you've been, I mean, through lots of wars. But here yeah. we are at 8-0 and, I mean, the, there's a lot in front of us. Mm -hmm. How do you see the rest of this season? I see it as it's great. As long as we keep working and keep hustling for everything that we want, we're doing great. Well. Hustling is one thing that Miranda's really good at, <laughs> in addition to being a great defensive Thank player you. and server and all those other things. Thank Congratulations, you. Miranda. Thank you. All right, Miranda Costa. Next is uh, Miranda's a junior. Next up for the White Faces, Cameron Blair. She's a sophomore. Uh, congratulations, Cameron. Thank you. Well, talk a little bit, Cameron, if you could, about this year versus last year. I mean, as a freshman, I mean, it was all new to you. and. And suddenly, I mean, you're kind of thrown into this here. Uh, how does that feel, first of all? Yeah, it's a lot different. Last year, I really didn't play very much, but this year, I play more. And a lot, I mean, there's a lot on your plate. There's a lot expected, right? Yes. So when you go out, I mean, do you have a particular goal in mind about kills or what you're trying um, to do that day? My goal is just to be the best outside hitter on the court, like <laughs> our side and their side. That's good. All right. Well, that's a pretty good goal, I'd say. You had four kills today. What's it like? I mean, when you get extended, when you really get that great set and swing at it, what, what does that feel like? It feels good, it does. yes. <laughs> what about now, I mean, you're in, we're fixing to be in some pressure situations that uh, will be the first time for you, although you've been in plenty of them here during the regular season. But how do you feel about the playoffs and all? I'm excited. I'm like, I don't know, yeah, I'm excited. Well, you've really played well. The team has played well. There, there, there seems to be a great unity among the team. Is that true? Yes. Well, congratulations, Cameron. Appreciate Thank it you. very much, Cameron Blair. And last but not least is uh, Tatum Stowe. Seven kills today and uh, probably not quite as many sets as, as sometimes, but uh, plenty, I'd say. And a couple of aces, too, Tatum. I believe you're going to be serving dude, don't you? <laughs> Talk about the serving part a little bit. About, I mean, I know you take a lot of pride in that. What are you trying to do? Mm, either ace them or just get it to where it's hard to give yeah. it, like, out of system. A lot of, a lot of speed on it uh, and a lot, of, a lot of, I guess, critical where you place it too, huh? Yes, sir. Tatum, now, I mean, obviously, where we go, people know who you are. Uh, uh, you've played long enough and well enough to, uh, to have uh, – a pretty good. What's that like? I mean, when you go in, are, are the expectations? Do you have great expe greater expectations for yourself than you should sometimes? Sometimes I do think so. I put a lot of pressure on myself. Yeah. As this team has developed, I mean, this is your third year on the varsity. How how has how has it changed as, as far as the cohesiveness and all of the team? Um. Well, I feel like every year we've always been pretty close, but I feel like this year. We've all kind of had like a couple of years under us yeah. together, so I feel like we're even closer this year. There really to. doesn't seem to be. I mean, we don't uh, – there's not much selfishness on the team, no, I'd sir. say. No, yes. On the defensive side, uh, uh, gosh, our, our, I mean, we've really played well back there, yes. haven't we? Yes, sir. Now we're 8-0. and o. I mean, we're mm -hmm. the district champs and all that good stuff. Yes. Postseason coming up. But well, what are your expectations for the next few weeks? Just – Keep working, getting better, getting ready for playoffs. Yeah. Well, great job here today, Tatum, Thank and all, you. all year long. We appreciate Tatum. Thank Always you. Always a smile on her face. <laughs> appreciate her very much. All right. Oh, I did. I wasn't even looking. I'm sorry, Anastasia. I forgot you had the camera right there. The White Faces win it in three in case you just joined us. 25-10, 25-13, 25-12. with 13 kills, uh, seven for Stowe, four for Rainey, four for Cameron, six for Bonnie. And then five aces for Rainey, five of our uh, 11, 10 aces the White Faces had. So 
a good day for the maroon and white. We go to Borger Tuesday night. We're back home next Friday for football with Dumas. And then uh, the regular season volleyball finale is next Saturday at home against Perryton. So hope you can get out and catch all that. If you can't, uh, join the YouTube version of all this with the Penas. Uh, we appreciate, again, them doing it. Appreciate uh, the school allowing this to be done. And uh, it's really, really a lot of fun. And a great day here at uh, in Pampa for the White Faces. Now 18-1 and one on the year, 8-0 and oh in the district. And uh, the district champs we are. So for the... Uh, the Whiteface Sports Sponsors and Coach Brenda Kitten. Again, the Whitefaces win 10, 13, 12 over Pampa. For all your Whiteface Sports Sponsors, Tom Simon saying have a nice afternoon, great weekend. We'll see you Tuesday with more Whiteface Volleyball. That's a wrap. I'm sorry. I, I forget.